My name is Jackie Jones. I'm currently the director of the Constituent Services Office. Uh, I grew up here in Pahaska, Oklahoma. My parents are Van and Mary Big Horse, and my grandparents are Margaret and Andrew Buddy Gray. I've decided to run uh, for the third Osage Nation Congress because I feel I have a lot to bring to the table uh, when it comes to experience of our government and knowledge of how um, each process works. Uh, serving as the Constituent Services Office Director, um, I, it's part of my job to know about all of the functions of the Osage Nation, whether it be executive, whether it be legislative, whether it be judicial, whether it be what our roles are as constituents. And taking all of those calls in, I have had the opportunity to listen to individuals tell about their issues and their concerns and their needs. And where I'm at, I'm limited. And I feel like I can better voice those things, their needs, their concerns, and where they want to see the Osage Nation going um, in a larger capacity. What I would like to see improved is the communication between the legislative branch and the executive branch. I believe to be able to bring um, legislative legislation that's beneficial to the Osage and pertinent to Osage, we have to communicate and we have to have effective and productive communication and work together. There's nothing in the laws that say that we shouldn't or couldn't work together and that is another thing that I bring to the table is I've established relationships with the executive office of the chiefs. Um, I have established relationship with current Congress members. I've established relationship, relationships with constituents. And I believe that is a big thing that I bring to the table is that relationship. And I believe that I can work as a team member with all branches of government um, to communicate and legislate. I am passionate for um, our young Osage people and um, enhancing the education that they receive starting at the Head Start level. Um, as soon as they're able to talk, we need to start educating them about how important it is to be involved in your culture, how important it is to educate yourself. And I believe that we need to enhance the services that we already provide um, through education. Um, we we have great services already um, through the education department, but that doesn't mean that they can't be improved. I am passionate for our elders. I've listened to um, our elders. I receive phone calls daily from elders who um, would like to see assisted living. I um, listen to their needs as far as health needs and what they would like to see as far as um, not having to worry about how they are going to be able to take care of their self, we should be able to take care of them through services. Um, I understand that not everybody has a lot of family and they don't come from large families. They may have one child who has to take care of them and I believe that they should have the resources so that their families can take care of them. Um, I'm also passionate about um, being able to provide those services and how do you do that? Well, you have to have um, economic development, of course, and all candidates have talked about that. I just listened to a, a message from the chief um, at a Northern California Osage meeting and a Southern California Osage meeting stating that we are under a $40 million cap uh, for the next five years for the expansion of the casino. If we, if we broaden our um, eco economic development, that opens up more jobs that we are able to provide um, to our constituents so, so that they aren't relying on our social service programs. I believe those social service programs should be specific to our children and our elders. Um, but there, I know that there are times that um, our Osage tribal members aren't able to work for whatever those reasons may be. Um, like right now, our economic um, um, overall, not just for the Osage, but all over the world is, is in a bad state and people need jobs. And through 
more businesses that we have, through more tribal programs that we have, we can put people to work so that they can take care of their families.